Now you've picked up the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and 10 Plus and you absolutely love it. But the question is, have you mastered using messages? This is EBP Man Tech Reviews and today we're gonna to go over mastering messages on your Note 10 and 10 Plus. Now all of us are text messaging on our phones, but there are some really great features that most of my friends don't know about. So as part of my inner circle here on YouTube, I'm gonna share with you all the tips and tricks that will help you master using messages. Let's get right to it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now your first power tip for messages is this. Check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and send a text message. I'm gonna type it as a test. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tap that arrow. Now there are several features here. Most of us know about the pictures and, and also going into the gallery. But we're gonna go into this area. And what I'd like you to check is do you have these features on your phone? So let's look at schedule a message. Because to me, scheduling a message is one of the most powerful tools that you have with messages. So in my case, I may be leaving early in the morning, I may be getting on a plane, and I wanna send a message to my kids to know them, just let them know that about something. It could be wishing them a great day, or there could be some to do. So here what I can do is I can say, I need this message to go out on Monday, I want it to go out at 11 a.m., and when I hit done, what will happen is I can type in my test message, hit send, and what will happen is it will not go out. You notice how it has this little clock here? That little clock is indicating that it's not gonna go out until the time that I set it. So imagine that, being able to send these text messages, these reminders to your kids, to your wife, to your friends and family, and not actually doing it in that moment. And then also imagine how many times have you forgotten to send someone a text message. So check out scheduled messages. Let me know if it's in Verizon, Sprint, uh, or T-Mobile. It definitely works in AT&T. Now many of the messages that we receive are to-dos, uh, but many times when we get a text message, depending on the time of the day, we forget all about it. So let me show you how you can set a reminder. So for example, I have this message right here. It says, call me when you leave. I'm gonna press and hold on it. And I have a couple options. You notice how I have star message. I also have set a reminder. We're gonna choose set a reminder. And then when we go into the reminder area, I'm gonna click on that little clock. Now with the clock, notice what happens. Send me a reminder based on a date and time. Send me a reminder, pick a place. So the cool thing about this is that call me when you leave. So what I can do is I can tap here and I can set my time. So I'm gonna be leaving today at 1 p.m. And I'm gonna hit, you know, give me a reminder, let me know when that happens. So now this reminder will appear today at 1 p.m. So it will remind me based on that to give that person a call. You'll never forget a text message if you use this tip. Now, have you ever received a text message to pick up milk on the way home, but then forgotten? Well, let me show you how you'll never forget that again. So here I have my message. Please stop by to the store and pick some milk. I'm gonna press and hold, and I'm gonna choose send to reminder. Now, the send to reminder function, when you click on that little clock, is gonna give you another option, which is, means pick a place. Now, when you choose pick a place, it's gonna give you the ability to indicate on a map when you leave or when you arrive. So notice right here at the very bottom, it says when I leave or when I arrive. So wherever my marker is, I can actually drag it and say, I wanna get into this area right here. So I'm gonna press and hold here. And what I can say is when I arrive at this location, my GPS, I'm gonna get a reminder letting me know. So imagine you can set this up for when you are four blocks away from the grocery store. You can set this uh, when you leave your place. So if you're setting the reminder in your business, you can say, when I leave, I want my reminder. This is a great way to be reminded of those things that you are always forgetting, those to-dos that come in a text message. Now this next tip is a great tip if you uh, don't have the time to reply to someone via text, you're um, about to leave the office, you're uh, walking, and you just don't wanna look down. So what you can do is you can press this little uh, icon here and do this. Hey, I can't talk right now, but can you send me more details? Now listen. Details. Now what you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna be able to send that text to someone and they'll be able to get it. Now this is not a brand new feature, it's not an earth, you know, it's not an incredible feature. You may use this on Facebook and other apps, but it's something that's very underutilized in messages. Let me know if you use voice messages when sending messages. Now this next power tip on messages is gonna allow you to find a message fast and also set a flag on it. So for example, here I have this test, I'm gonna press and hold, and I'm gonna star the message. Now the message has been starred, and I'm gonna to go to all my messages. 
right? So now I'm looking at all my messages and I want to find that message that is starred. Now I can have one or many starred. So I'm going to go here on the three dots and I'm going to say starred messages. And notice that that starred message comes up. It's a quick way to find a message. Now, if you ever want to unstar your message, here's a quick way to do it. All you do is press and hold on the message that has been starred and hit unstar and it's as easy as that. Now, have you ever found yourself giving someone an address to your home as they're trying to get to your house and they say, hey, can you text me the details? And you actually text them the address. Let me show you an easier way. So if I'm going to send someone a message, a text or uh, information on how to get my house, all I do is I hit those four dots and I choose location. And when I choose location, what I'm going to do is let the dot that's going to show up here in a second show my location and then I'm going to hit done. And now the GPS location for where I'm at is found. When I hit send, they're going to be able to click on that link and Google Nav is going to bring them to your home. It's a faster way to get someone to your place. So that concludes my mastery of messages. Now there are a lot of other tips that you can find in the message area. If there's a favorite one that you have, let me know in the comment area below. But these are the ones that I find are most overlooked and underused. Let me know what you thought about these tips in the comment area below.